I have had the very grateful opportunity to be able to travel. I've seen many countries and different continents, but I always end up coming back to Canada. This builds a lot of things. One really important thing is a lot of integrity. Hello, my name is Flight Sergeant Zara, and today I have the opportunity to speak to you a little bit about why being a Canadian with integrity from sea to sea means to me. First, I'm gonna talk a bit about what exactly, in my opinion, integrity is. Then, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what the sea to sea aspects is regarding. And finally, a bit about my own insight and opinion. So, first of all, integrity, in a way, means to be proud. It means to stand for what you believe in your own country. Me being an air cadet shows that I'm involved in many youth Canadian organizations. And, and in doing so, I show much support towards my own country. Also, in showing support, you need to stand for what you believe. For example, if you're online, as many other teenagers are, and you see something that you think is very interesting, or people are talking, and you're involved, you can talk about your own integrity and what you believe in your own country. And also, being an air cadet is, in my opinion, one of the greatest things. Being an air cadet has showed me many different aspects in citizenship and leadership, which shows a lot in a person. Now, being, having integrity from sea to sea is a little bit more involved. That could mean from one coast of Canada to the other. So all aspects of Canada, you have integrity. So not just if you're from the East Coast or West Coast, but it all comes together as one whole integrity. Now, visiting different countries shows me how different countries do their things. May, that may be education, or transportation, or infrastructure. Many different ways. But integrity from sea to sea shows how it is in Canada. And so with that, visiting different countries, I can, I can show and compare the two different aspects. So being, in a, being a Canadian with integrity from sea to sea means a lot of things to me. And all of this is just scratching the surface. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love and all thy sons and daughters command. Every day when I go to school, these are the words I say in the morning. What do they mean? They mean that I am a Canadian, proud and strong. But more than just being a Canadian, saying those words mean that I am a Canadian with integrity from sea to sea. What is integrity? It's following through with all your actions. It's having self-regulation and discipline. It's having compassion for yourself and for others. Really, being a Canadian with integrity from sea to sea means being a good citizen. So what is a good citizen? A good citizen is one that treats all Canadians with respect. And, uh, yes, respect. My family, when we immigrated to Canada from India, the main reason that our settlement was so fluid and successful was because of the support from all of our neighbors and all the other Canadians that we met. So really, if you're a Canadian, it is your job to treat everyone in this country, on this land, with respect and dignity. Because there are so many immigrants and newcomers that need that support, and it is our responsibility to give it to them. Additionally, being a Canadian with good citizenship means that you are aware of everything that's happening in this country. Although, I'm living here, although I live in southern Ontario, in the GTA, I am still aware of issues that affect people all across Canada. I'm aware of the news. I keep track of current events and politics because I need to know what's happening in this country, and I need to know about the issues that are occurring in this country so that I can help solve them. Finally, being a good citizen means joining activities and other organizations in the community which work to increase your citizenship and help others. For instance, cadets. There are not just cadets though, there are so many other organizations out there that'll help youth get involved, even help adults get involved and make a real difference in the community. So all in all, to me, being a Canadian with integrity from sea to sea means that you are a good citizen. And a good citizen shows respect for others, is knowledgeable of current events and keeps up with the news, 
and does things to solve issues by joining local organizations that help make our country even better than it already is. So are you a Canadian with great integrity from sea to sea? Hello. For this two to three minute impromptu speech, I've been tasked with the question, being, what is being a Canadian with integrity from sea to sea mean? Now, all of you will have your di different opinion on this, but here's a short version of mine. Okay. Being a Canadian with integrity from sea to sea means being together. Okay, unity brings many, many things. Brings farewell. This is a big one. There's less, less segregation between lower class citizens and higher class citizens. It brings happier citizens. This is a big one as well. Okay, if you're all equal, you all have the same things. More knowledgeable citizens, education, now, many people don't have access to education like we do. Very fortunate. Um, and that's something that would definitely change. Equality. Like I said before, with fair wealth brings equality to all branches of citizens. Fair leadership. Fair leadership, again, is another one. In a, in a country, you do need leadership. A right to speech. Democracy. Good fortune, and in my opinion, a stronger Canada. So, thank you. So, son, where do you see yourself in 20 years? Do you want to be rich, famous, a doctor? Well, Mom, I'd like to be honest. So, to you all, what does it mean to be a Canadian with integrity from sea? to see. I'm going to be talking about this from my perspective with three main points. The first being loyalty. The second, helping others. And the third, being true to yourself. To begin, loyalty and honesty. Let's say you're with a group of friends and someone decides to badmouth somebody who's not present there. What do you do? Do you stand up for the party that's not currently there? Or do you just go along with those people? If you're a Canadian with integrity, you know that it's important to stand up for everybody, especially the ones that do not have a say. Secondly, helping others. Being integral and having integrity also means you need to be helping everybody around you be it through volunteering, as I earlier spoke about, especially volunteering. You can go to your local community center and help younger children learn more about their future career paths. You can help tutor a student, teach them math, science, physics. All these aspects contribute to integrity because you are trying to help the future generation and are being honest to yourself. And finally, being true to yourself. Wherever you go, be it on Canadian soil, the United States of America, <coughs> India, China, regardless of where you go, it's important to retain human values that you were brought up with. And that's what it really means to retain and have integrity. And so to conclude, while it's great people may talk about integrity as being honest, it also includes helping others, being loyal to everybody, and knowing who you really are. And if everybody takes this stance, I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, there is always power in numbers. In society nowadays, we have our basic values that we strive to achieve. We have our families, we have love, we have peace, and one of them is integrity. What is integrity? For my definition, it is doing good deeds to others without receiving an award or thinking that you will receive a reward at the end. How do I achieve to do that? It is by telling myself 
to always do the best, to achieve greatness, to put 100% in everything I do. Yes, I do realize that I want a reward at the end, but all in all at the end, is it worth it? I won't look at the trophy or the award that I received. I will look at myself. What have I learned today? In our families, integrity can be shown by helping your mothers with dishes without her actually telling you. She doesn't have to repay you, it's just you pushing yourself to do it. In school, teachers tell you to go help out others. You don't need me to actually supervise you. How about go help out that kid, that third grader, with their homework? The teacher doesn't have to necessarily be there in order to reward you. It should be something that comes from within. In society, you strive to help others throughout your experiences, throughout your wisdom that you have. You show it to others so that you may become a model. And further most, in the world, what is your purpose in life? You do not strive for the United Nations to come up down and tell you congratulations. No, you strive to make other people better. I have, as I have learned, achieving greatness starts with you. Not your parents, not your friends, you. So being a Canadian and having integrity from C to C, for me and for you, it should be to think of the best, work for the best, and be the best. Thank you very much. Close your eyes and picture yourself in a blistering hot red coat standing on a field with muskets and cannons firing behind you. Ladies and gentlemen, picture yourself as a British soldier, or at that time a Canadian soldier, a soon-to-be Canadian soldier, at the Battle of Queenston Heights with the militia running in front of you and Sir Isaac Brock leading the charge out front. When asked the question, or given the statement, being a Canadian with integrity from sea to sea means, I believe that being a Canadian from sea to sea with integrity means a prideful Canadian, someone who is proud to be Canadian, proud of their heritage, and proud to stand and be known as a Canadian regardless of where they're from. From sea to sea, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, whether you're from PEI, Newfoundland, Quebec, Ontario, Nova Scotia, Saskatchewan, or British Columbia, you can see that throughout the country, it doesn't matter where you come from, that you are treated equal. It doesn't matter if you have immigrated here to Canada from a different country. It doesn't matter if, you're, if your generation is the first of millions that have been here uh, from very different regions of the world. To be a proud Canadian is to be able to stand in front of people and uh, tell them that you are Canadian. And to be a Canadian with integrity from sea to sea is all about being treated equal. It is one of our basic human Canadian rights here in the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. I want you to picture yourself being jo Sir John A. Macdonald at the Charlottetown Conference. As you were sitting down at a table with many other uh, men contemplating about the future of a, of a country that doesn't even exist yet. You were under British rule at the time, and you were contemplating how to make this a free country. Sir John A. Macdonald, one of our, our very first Prime Minister, had a dream for Canada, and I believe that that is what we have to be proud of as a country. With the 150th anniversary of Canada coming up next year, I believe that it is important for all of us as Canadians to be prideful about our past. We must, we must go forth with integrity about what, what have we experienced as a country and what we look forward to experiencing in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, from sea to sea, wherever you come from, be proud to be Canadian and do so with integrity. Thank you. What is it to be Canadian? Is it, it is a hard question, isn't it? To outsiders, they may be living in an igloo or loving the Toronto Maple Leafs but to me, being a Canadian, and more so being one with great and deep integrity, means something much more. To me, it means two main things. The first, being an active and respectable global citizen. And the second, treating your fellow countrymen with the respect and dignity they would deserve. Now let's break this down. What does it truly mean to be a global citizen? 
Well, it means understanding our place in the world. It means helping countries in need, and it means not bowing down from fear when other nations decide to attack us or challenge us. It also means helping other nations with peacekeeping missions that we are constantly and actively part of. It means not doing something that's politically right, but morally right, and, help, and holding our heads high when we do it. Now, the next part about being a Canadian is, of course, respecting your fellow countrymen with respect and dignity, as I said. Now, this means encouraging and nurturing everyone's gifts that they have to offer. It also means helping those less fortunate, just as we would other nations. It means finding a way to make sure that everyone has a fair shot at succeeding in our country, as we all have an area to give in our industries. Now, while this may be general, while it may be brief, I believe these two attributes are the core of every Canadian citizen. And when someone asks me what it means to be a decent Canadian from C to C, this is what I will tell them. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, honored guests, and judges. My name is Sergeant Catherine Butts from the 121 Roderos Royal Canadian Air Cadet Squadron. I'm here today to talk to you about what being a Canadian with integrity from C to C means to me. When I hear this, I think of three things, caring for our environment, caring for each other, and ultimately keeping peace. The first thing I'd like to talk about is caring for our environment. As David Suzuki says, we're driving into a brick wall and we're arguing over who we're sitting or where we are sitting. And I think in order to change the environment, we need to stop, put on the brakes and think about our environment from sea to sea, but also throughout the world and our consumption, maybe being a little bit more friendly, ecologically sustainable, such as using, rather than using little plastic water bottles, using reusable water bottles, and making little changes in our lives so ultimately we care for our environment. And the second thing I'd like to talk about is caring for each other. An example of somebody who cares for the less fortunate in my community is Sister Christine, who runs a drop-in center in Guelph, where I live. And Sister Christine provides hot meals for people who can't afford them twice a day for 365 days a year. And she doesn't do this out of the goodness of earning money. She does this out of the goodness of her heart and she's been doing this for the past 25 years and she's 85 years old and she's still doing this. And this is what I think it means to have integrity. And the third thing that I'd like to talk about is keeping our peace. Last September I attended an army run which was in Ottawa and it was a charity fundraiser for the wounded veterans of the Canadian Armed Forces and I realized the sacrifices that they made for our freedom. There was people there who were in wheelchairs. They were running half marathons. And just to think of that, all that they've been through just for our freedom, this is what I think it means to have integrity. So in conclusion, caring for our environment, caring for each other, and caring for our peace at home are the three things of what I think integrity from C to C means to me. Integrity. Integrity really builds. If I was to look at what integrity means to me, and as a Canadian from C to C, I wouldn't give you the cookie cutter definition. Integrity being doing the right thing, even when no one's watching. I would give you the three easy step process of how and what integrity means to us in our day to day lives. Number one, Integrity is our own definition. It's a personal integrity we have. Number two, integrity builds trust. And number three, integrity by building, by having personal integrity and the trust that it builds, integrity leads into leadership. If I was to talk about our personal integrity, it's what we see in our day-to-day -day lives. If we were to look at someone doing the wrong thing, or if things aren't going as to plan, integrity is us really digging in, 
to our own core values and our, what we hold deep to ourselves. Number two, if I were to, uh, integrity, personal integrity also builds into trust. As a leader, we tell our level twos, our level ones, to be a good follower, you have to have that personal integrity. And by taking that personal integrity as a leader, you're building that trust your followers have in you. And it's that inherent trust that your followers have in you as a leader, which is what makes integrity so important. And number three, by using personal integrity and the trust that it builds, integrity leads into leadership. And it's something that I hold very dear as a Warrant Officer First Class. So many times in my squadron, there are times where I would look at a cadet from afar and see, do they have what it takes to reach that sergeant or flight sergeant rank? And I look to see if they can follow this three easy step process. Do they have that personal integrity to do the right thing even when I'm not coaching them through every step of the way? Can they develop that trust as a leader so that other cadets, other peers that they have can follow them because they know they have what it takes and I can reward that leadership in others. And it is why I hope and it's my dream in cadets every day to teach this three easy step process. Personal integrity into trust, into leadership. Canada is the second largest country on the planet and that comes with responsibilities. These responsibilities don't belong to a single individual. It doesn't belong to our politicians, our environmental activist, activists, but it, invol it involves every single one of us, every single citizen of our beautiful country. And we need to worry about the environment. The environment is one of the most major issues that the world deals with today. There is quite a lot of pollution and that pollution can be averted by using elect uh, electric cars rather than uh, gas cars, which produce harmful chemicals. But that's a minor thing. We also need to worry about our water, our water supply. Even though we have the world's most fresh water, it doesn't mean we should use it carelessly and without any means of um, carelessness. And another issue is forests. Canada is full of humongous areas of forests, but we are cutting down these forests and resources for our own personal gain. And though that is important in nowadays society, to be able to use these resources for our advantage, we need to use it in a controllable manner. We are also responsible of our behavior. We as Canadians are known to be a peaceful country with morals, and every single one of us has to look, uh, has to stay at those standards and continue behaving in the way that we are known to behave. We are also quite a tolerating country. We tolerate a lot of criticism from other countries and a lot of misusage uh, and um, force upon our country from other larger countries. But we are always strong together. And together, we need to work to solve all of these problems. Because these problems go from coast to coast. And though we live in this one tiny spot, oh, if you stand in this one tiny spot, this spot belongs to Canada. And that means we are Canadians. And so we need to change this together. Thank you. One of the best quotes I have ever heard about integrity is that it is better to do what you believe in and what you think is right, even when no one is watching. And this is what I think makes Canada so unique and what it means to be a Canadian with integrity. We are very lucky to live in such a multicultural society and it's this which makes us richer. But with a multicultural society comes differences. And integrity is the ability to stand up for what you think is right but be respectful of those who differ. Another important aspect of integrity is ingrained right into the cadet program. 
We learn this throughout the program to stand up for what we believe in and more importantly, provide a voice to those who can't. And lastly, through the cadet program, we learn leadership, which no person with integrity can be without because it's these leaders that guide the majority of people and are the ones who inspire others to stand up for what they think is right. Every culture has its own unique opinions, beliefs, dogmas, and we're all very entrenched in our own. With that often comes difference. However, someone with integrity has the ability to take those differences, but find what's common. And when you disagree, has the ability to disagree without being disagreeable. Because no person with integrity can be without respect. And in the cadet program, this is something that I have learned while I was very lucky to grow up in such a multicultural society in Mississauga, when I moved to Kingston, it was not very multicultural. However, I met it, I was very lucky to bring the beliefs and the system of respect that I had learned with me. And this, what I love about cadets is that it's about giving a voice even when those who are not there and are not present. They do this by educating us in leadership because the entire point of leadership is to represent those in what you believe. I believe that every leader and every person should call themselves is Canadian, deserves to learn integrity, and also deserves to learn respect. Thank you. Last summer, I had the privilege of attending a cadet national summer camp. And at the summer cat, I had the opportunity to witness unity from the East Coast to the West. An opportunity to view what it means to be Canadian from sea to sea. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, judges, and my fellow cadets. My name is Sergeant Alexander Wainwright, and I'd like to share with you what it means to me to be Canadian from sea to sea. To begin with, Every single one of those Canadian children who I met and had the privilege to work with for six weeks was kind and worked together. My bunkmate was from Saskatchewan, and every morning we'd get up together. We'd take out our protractor and measure the corners on each other's beds to make sure that we had the correct angle. We'd take out our rulers and we'd measure the top of the bed to make sure it was exactly six inches. And after our bunks were built to perfection, we would go to the guys beside us. One was from BC, one was from Ontario, and we'd repeat the process. Showing true unity, not just from coast to coast, but from coast to prairie, from coast to Toronto. It may sound hard to believe, but even we can work together. After that idea of kindness, another thing that unites us all from coast to coast is our politeness. This is something that may have occurred to each one of you. When you walk in to an American superstore or into a restaurant, they will know that you're Canadian when you say thank you for getting the bill. Not very many people will say thank you. But as Canadians, it's something that we pride ourselves on. We pride ourselves on being kind to everyone. One last thing that makes us all such great Canadians is our ability to be kind to people we don't even know. The best story I've ever heard to show this was told to me by my mother. She told me that during the Second World War, when the Canadians were in Belgium, the Belgian people could tell that you were Canadian. Because the Americans would step on the gardens, the British would run through them, but the Canadians, no, the Canadians, the Canadians would step over. That's what being Canadian is. That's what it is. Whether you're from Alberta, BC, Saskatchewan, Ontario, or the territories. So please remember, we're all Canadian. From sea to sea to sea. Where are you from? Think about that question and think about it good and hard and keep your answer in your head. Now I was posited the question, what does 
being a Canadian with integrity from C to C mean? Now, it might sound like a bit of an odd question, it might sound wordy, so I'm going to break it down right now and explain what this exactly means. Good morning, judges. My name is Warren Officer, Second Class Armstrong from 779 Black Knight Squadron. So, our first question is Canadian integrity. Well, being Canadian is fairly obvious. It means you are a citizen or permanent resident of Canada by law, or you just have that sense of pride with Canada. Now, integrity. Integrity, less of an easy answer. When we talk about integrity, we think about self-confidence, we think about honor, we think about loyalty, all these different things. But once you add on that last question, it, it becomes a bit more difficult to answer. From C to C, what does that mean? Now, unless we're talking about the motto of Canada, which is Admarius Admar, or from C to C, we are talking about Canada as one national unit. Now, having Canadian integrity means many things. It means that you have to have a national sense of pride. And when I say a national sense of pride, I don't just mean within Ontario, within Hamilton, within your hometown, within wherever. I mean within our country, being unified in our way forward. Canada first. I remember when I was taking grade 10 history, uh, I had a history t teacher named Mr. Scott, and he was saying that he liked Ontario because they were one of the most loyal provinces, and this is completely his uh, opinion. But when he asked a lot of his friends from Alberta or wherever, they would say, oh, they're from Alberta. But when you ask an Ontario or a Quebecer where they are from, they say Canada. Now that sort of national pride is something that we all need to strive for. Because I know myself, I might say I'm from Ontario, I might say I'm from Hamilton, I might say I'm from Ancaster. The national integrity of Canadians needs to be unified. We need to believe in each other, to believe that as a country, we are one. This sense of integrity is somewhat lost upon us today. But I know, as Canadians, we can gain it back. So the third place winner is Sergeant Samir Alaza. Yeah.